Hi there guys, it's Justin here. In today's video, I'm going to be comparing the last three drivers released by NVIDIA, uh, namely the 516.94 driver, which was the day zero best performance driver for Spider-Man Remastered. Then the second last driver, which is 517.48, which was the NVIDIA fix for the performance degradation in Windows 11 22H2, particularly if you're using uh, GeForce experience and then lastly the driver 522.25 which is the day zero best performance driver for Uncharted Lost Legacy or Legacy of Thieves as well as uh, Gotham Knights so um, I benchmarked all these drives over eight different games and I got the results over here so let's get to it so as you can see I've got 516.94 here eight games and then i ran a benchmark and i got the average fps's and i did that over all the drivers so for 516.94 uh rise of the tomb raider shadow of the tomb raider ac odyssey or assassin's creed odyssey horizon zero dawn marvel's guardians of the galaxy marvel spider-man remastered days gone and far cry uh did the benchmark i got the average fps and just by the way all the games were tested at medium settings except for guardians of the galaxy which my computer um, is a little bit under spec for so i tested that on low settings so over those eight games my total fps for 516.94 was 556.62 and then obviously i benchmarked it over eight games so my average fps per game for 516.94 was 69.58 and then the same thing for 517.48 what I did is I benchmarked those 8 games got the average FPS's, added it up and my total FPS over 8 games was 562.4 and then the same as before I divided that by 8 because I benchmarked over 8 games and my average FPS per game was 70.3 so which you can see is quite a nice little performance improvement and then lastly um, I tested 522.25 over the 8 games added up the average FPS's and then my total FPS over the 8 games was 566.44 so as you can see there's already quite a significant performance increase from the first driver to the second driver to the, last, to the latest driver so my average FPS per game was 70.8 so guys if you want my recommendation it's a pretty obvious one over here driver 522.25 there's quite a significant perform or significant performance increase if you averaging out the fps's per game now not only that um i use a laptop or a dell g15 with the i5 10 200h with the gtx 1650 mobile but if you got a 30 series laptop or desktop GPU, you're going to notice that with the latest driver, you're going to get a performance increase by anywhere between 7% and I think it goes up to about 25%. So the latest driver is optimized for the 30 series in particular, you'll notice a nice little performance boost above and beyond what I've got here with my non-RTX floppy card life is tough what can you do anyways guys i hope you enjoyed that video if you did smash the like button if you haven't subbed to the channel please support my fledgling channel and only good things will happen you'll be blessed for the rest of the week who knows guys um more importantly it's people like you that make a difference in this world enjoy the rest of your day cheers